Student Success at Brazos High School Credit Recovery. Hello again, everybody. My name is Dale Caffey. It's my pleasure to be on the campus of Brazos High School with Principal Keith Hanna and a recent graduate, Marlon Lamonis. And we're going to talk about the success of students here at Brazos Credit Recovery in the next several minutes. First of all, Mr. Hanna, let's start with you. Uh, what is Brazos Credit Recovery all about? Well, first of all, Mr. Caffey, thank you for coming out today. We're very uh, happy to recognize our students here, uh, and especially uh, Marlon today. Uh, Brazos Credit Recovery is a program for those students that may have fallen behind in their credits uh, due to life circumstances, whether that be attendance um, or just failing to go to school. Um, our two feeder scores are Waco High School and University High School. And so those students that are behind in credits are given the opportunity to come over here and to work on an online program called GradPoint and kids focus on those classes that they specifically need uh, in order to graduate. We see some students in fact behind us right now working on the computer. What are they doing? Uh, depends on what class they need. Um, we enroll kids into two classes um, so so they're not balancing all over if they need 10 credits you know they're not doing math one day and so on and so forth. So they're given two classes so they're working on either whatever two classes they want to work on uh, so they can focus in. Sometimes it gets kind of daunting when you need 15 more credits uh, and so we focus their attention on two specific classes and as they complete those classes we then enroll them in the next course they need to graduate. In December you had a big celebration uh, because 20 students earned enough credits uh, to reach that graduation point. Uh, talk a little bit about what you did and how happy you were and especially how happy a lot of the parents and students were. Yes, uh, here, the unique thing about Brazos is we can graduate a kid in the middle of October on a Wednesday uh, and obviously you know we recognize those students here um, but there's not a, a formal ceremony. Any student that graduates from Brazos is given the opportunity to participate in the spring at the Waco High or University High graduation but in October, you know, last thing on their mind is, is the end of the school year. So we had a little get together, invited parents, uh, family and friends, and we had some cake and punch, and we recognized those students that graduated uh, during the fall semester. We had a great turnout. Uh, we uh, had 80 people in here, and we're looking for more chairs. Um, and it's just an opportunity to recognize those students because some of those students don't want to wait until June. Um, and so we decided to recognize those students. And it was very emotional for some of our students. Um, some of them are the first graduates in their family. And then there are other students that never saw this coming. They never thought they'd get to this point. So a lot of emotions that evening. Um, and, and it was great to be a part of. And, and we feel like we're making a difference here. And, and it's great that you can make a difference in September, October, November. And you don't have to wait until the end of the school year. Making a huge difference, and especially in the life of one of the graduates whose name is Marlon Lamonis, who has also joined us today. Uh, Marlon, uh, you're ac you actually have a full-time job. Yes, sir, I do. Uh, uh, but uh, talk a little bit about how you uh, realized that you wanted to not be without that high school diploma. Yes, sir. I actually work for Greg May Honda. Um, I, I knew the importance of the, of the diploma was because it helps you move up in the, in the world. Um, man um, it just helps you a lot right. and like I said um, I don't know but that's okay talk a little bit about what what helped you along the way you mentioned a moment ago your parent your mom would not let you give up yeah she was she was the one who was pushing me she was the one uh, telling me hey you know you need to go to school you need to wake up and this and that and obviously I wouldn't I wouldn't wake up sometimes and stuff like that but um, and she was the one who was pushing me uh, my dad always pushed me, but she was one of the of the main ones uh, pushing me. Talk a little bit about how you kind of worked at the same time as you went to school, because you were putting in 40 plus hours a week, plus coming to Brazos. Yes, sir. I was actually, um, my days off are on Thursdays, and um, I would come here, 8 o'clock, be here till maybe 4, 4.30, and, um, and I would do that every single, um, every single Thursday that I was off uh, since summer school ended. So, um, I mean, I was here 40, 40 <laughs> hours or so. Right. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you, you put in a, a lot of work. And I know, uh, what have the folks at Greg May Honda, uh, have they said anything to you since you graduated? Oh, they're just happy that I'm there and uh, they need me and uh, hope to be there for a long time. Yeah, and you're a valued member of that staff, and you told me that, uh, you know, right now you're in a certain position, but you'd like to move up. Tell me about your aspirations. Yes, sir. I'm at, uh, right now I'm actually a porter for them, and I would love to move up to sales. And um, I know 
if I didn't have my diploma, I couldn't do that. Uh, I would want to go back to school and, and learn a little bit more. Now, you obviously know a lot about cars, a lot about Hondas, yes. <laughs> uh, but you had to learn some other things here. What was it that you, what credits did you have to particularly work on? Um, I actually started credit recovery with um, only three credits. And um, so I basically had to do everything from, from the bottom. Um, all my English, all my, uh, you know, my major stuff. So it was, it was hard, but I got it done. Now, I find it hard to believe, talking to you right now, that you were potentially a dropout. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's amazing to me because uh, you don't sound like a dropout, and you have the confidence of just anybody else who's in the business world. I want to congratulate you, first of all, for that, and talk about how proud you are of yourself. I'm very proud of myself. Um, like I said, it, it, it wasn't easy, but, but I got it done, and, and I'm very, very proud of myself. Well, you have a bright future, a much brighter future, I believe, than you thought you had uh, before you got that high school diploma. Yes, sir. Thank you. Very good. Do you plan on pursuing any further education or right now just trying to uh, make that step up at Greg May? I think for a while I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work, but then I, I want to also uh, get back into college and see, see if I can do that. Very good. We'll never stop learning, okay? Congratulations, Marlon. Thank you. Okay, once again, that's Marlon Lamonis, a recent graduate of Brazos Credit Recovery, full-time worker at Greg May Honda, uh, but knew that he needed that high school diploma. I want to ask you, as principal, I mean, you've been a principal on campuses of hundreds of students, close to a thousand students. Now you're on a smaller campus. What satisfaction do you get out of being principal at Brazos? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's humbling, I'll be honest with you. It's humbling to see kids coming here knowing, you know, as a grown man, I probably wouldn't be able to hear, handle some of the experiences they handle as a kid, but yet they come here. And, and what Marlon did not mention is we have four-hour sessions. Kids come here for four hours, um, and then they leave. So when Marlon speaks about doing double sessions, you know, he was going above and beyond doing the eight hours. Um, me personally and our staff, what we take out of it is, you know, on those larger campuses, you're making a difference. Um, you make a difference anytime you're helping students. Uh, but the great thing about here at Brazos with our smaller population, our smaller enrollment, and be able to graduate kids in the middle of October. I mean, you, you see the short term and the long term, and, and it just keeps us going. We don't have a, a fancy motto or vision uh, here. All we just say is we're making a difference, and, and we're making a difference um, graduating kids in, in the middle of November, October. Um, and so we see it every day. And, and uh, to see kids get emotional um, over the fact that a 21-year-old is earning a diploma and they get emotional, um, that, that's, that's a great feeling, um, you know, for myself and for our staff and for the other students. We, we recognize our graduates amongst our other students, too, so they can see, hey, there is that light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. and it's not always a train. It, it's a diploma, and you can do it with hard work. So it, it's, it's a great feeling to be here every day. And I want to remind the folks at home that uh, Marlon was one of 20 that graduated in December alone. Man, that had to bring a big smile to your face. Yeah. I mean, it's being new to the credit recovery. Um, you know, I was shocked that we had that many. Um, uh, and there was a foundation laid before we came. Mm -hmm. And But just to see, you know, 20 students, their lives have been changed and, and will be changed with a diploma. Uh, we had one young lady that actually graduated early um, from, from Brazos. Uh, she was set to graduate from Waco High in the spring. She came over here and just being here, you know, without, you know, some of the distractions you have on a larger campus, and she did double sessions. She actually graduated an entire semester early, and she was already looking at uh, to go into MCC, and she actually wants to be a teacher someday. Um, and so seeing stories like that, it's just, you know, it, it makes us, that's what we got into this business for is to make a difference in student lives, and I feel like we're doing that here every day. Certainly are. Keith Hanna, congratulations on a, what's going to be another great year at Brazos. Yes, thank you, and, and we appreciate coming out and giving us uh, this positive light on Brazos, and, and we all, you know, thank you to the faculty as well. The faculty, they're meeting with these kids one-on-one -on -one a lot of times uh, to help them get these credits, so our staff shoulders in, in uh, applauding you for coming out here today, and we thank the parents as well for their support. It is our pleasure. Once again, this is Keith Hanna. He is your principal at Brazos Credit Recovery, and Marlon Lamonis, who is a recent graduate of Brazos Credit Recovery, we're so proud of uh, Marlon and 20 and 19 others who graduated in December this past year. My name is Dale Caffey reporting from the Brazos High School Credit Recovery Center where there are learners today and leaders tomorrow.